everybody, I'm Brian Birch with Digital Design House and today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to create one of those cool abstract backgrounds for your uh, desktop or MySpace or uh, YouTube. Uh, it's a pretty simple technique. Uh, you can play around with it into oblivion until you get something that you actually like. Um, but uh, it's real simple and today we're going to be working in Photoshop CS3. Um, don't worry though because if you, even if you have an older version uh, of Photoshop these techniques still apply um, even if you have the old old version um, like one so uh, you can still build in layers so let's go ahead and get started uh, go up here to file in the left hand side uh, we're going to click new uh, we're going to select from the preset web um, and drop that down size uh, we're going to stay with the 1024 768 um, Typically, I do a lot bigger photos or, or bigger stage uh, than 1024, 768, but for uh, these general purposes, I'll uh, just use that standard. And the resolution, I usually go 600 DPI, um, and we're going to use 72. Uh, just for your information, most print companies want at least 200 DPI, um, but we're going to use 72 because it's good enough for what we're doing for right now. Uh, nobody else is going to see this except for you. And uh, we'll go down here to the background contents, the background color, uh, which we have black. If you look over here in the left-hand corner, our background color is black. You can select um, white or transparent, but we're going to go ahead and select our background color and click OK. Now there's our layer, our background layer. Uh, we're going to roll our mouse down to this little icon right here, which is create a new layer. Uh, and the reason why we do this is because when we draw on this layer, uh, if we don't want to see it anymore, we just click the eyeball and it goes away. Uh, it doesn't uh, disturb the, the layer below it. Uh, we can always shut it off or turn it back on. And I don't like that little squiggle, so I'm going to come up here to Undo Brush Tool, which is Control Z. Um, that'll let you step back uh, one action. So. Uh, first things first, let's go up here, click our brush tool right here to the left. Uh, go up here and let's change the diameter of this. I want to knock it down to about a 20. Um, and we'll bring the hardness up to about a 50. Uh, all the way down gives you this nice little soft edge. Um, and the hardness uh, all the way up to 100% will give you a nice crisp sharp edge. Um, but I want to do it right around 50%. Uh, that'll do for what we're going to uh, uh, do here. And then basically you just draw uh, anything you want. Uh, actually, let's control Z. And let's change that yellow. Uh, let's change it to a nice aqua. Click OK. And now let's draw our star. nothing fancy um, but here's where the magic happens if you click on filter uh, go down to blur uh, then go over to uh, radial blur uh, you want to slide the slider up to 100 or you can type it in um, I just slide it up to 100 uh, the blur method is zoom and you want the quality best and click OK now, not, it doesn't really look that fantastic now, but if you hit Control F a few times, uh, about 10 to be exact, uh, you'll see something pretty magical happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I will fast forward um, whenever that's done, so I'll be right back. Okay, uh, now that that's done, you can kind of start to see what it's doing, um, and you can draw something let's go ahead and create a new layer uh, go over here new layer layer two uh, and all you're going to do is draw something it doesn't really matter it's squiggly lines work fine um, we'll draw a kind of a smiley face cone head dude um, hit control F uh, on that layer and you'll see a blur there uh, let's go a couple more times on that Now, uh, if you really like something, uh, let's say that I like that layer, 
uh, and I want to put that exact layer over here you can right click on the layer you can duplicate it um, I'll just go ahead and leave this as layer 2 copy um, and you want to come up to edit transform flip horizontal grab your move tool over here in your tool palette and drag it on over now you have the exact same one uh, directly across from that one and the cool thing about Photoshop is it will pretty much snap uh, right to the edge so you just drag it over and put it where you want let's create a new layer and we're going to draw something a little bit bigger this time uh, let's go on up to about a about 60. 62 is fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and create something a little bit um, brighter. And we're just going to draw this little kind of squirrely circle thing. Uh, hit Control F uh, about 10 times, and I'll be back as soon as, uh, as soon as it's done doing its thing. Okay. Um, that's kind of bright. It looks nice. Uh, but it's a little bit bright, um, and it's actually a little bit off-center from where I wanted it. Um, so what we're going to do is, on this layer here, I'm going to take the um, eraser tool, uh, and let's bring the diameter of the eraser down, uh, bring it down to about a 15. And what I'm going to do is uh, draw, or erase, some some of this space right here and you could play with this I mean there's there's no set rules that's a cool thing so whatever you draw uh, if you don't like it hit control Z uh, and it will go back to the way it was or you can just delete the entire layer so let's do that hit control F um, and you start to start to see it so I'm going to hit it uh, about seven times I'll be back when it's done okay so now you're starting to see it's starting to take a little bit of shape um, one of the other things that you can do um, uh, is if you select on background um, or any layer uh, and click new layer it will insert a layer let me, uh, let me move that up a little bit um, it will insert that layer just above the one that you have selected um, and what we're going to do is this layer here is under all this color so I'm going to change some of this other color uh, we're going to change it to uh, more of a more of a pink or violet and we're going to increase our uh, size of our brush uh, to about a 40 and we are going to draw still on eraser uh, select your brush tool and we're going to draw um, and do some color underneath and so we will hit control F a few times and uh, see how that works okay so you kinda get the idea you just keep adding layers subtracting layers keep drawing on it um, and just keep doing the radial blur um, and you can start creating some things that are uh, really out there so I um, hope this helped out a lot um, and as always visit our website designhouse.com and if you have any questions feel free to uh, shoot them over to me uh, via Facebook or email, um, Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at digitaldesignhouse.com. And uh, hope this helped, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.